what's going on guys it's Cryptic TMG I'm back with a brand new video this time we're back on a set of course of Competizione and it's patch 5 with the ML3 Jaguar around Zolder um, and yeah the car definitely is so far the trickiest one to drive the back end tends to snap a little bit you get quite a little bit of um, oversteer mid corner and stuff like that but it's still very very fun and you're gonna need to have a good a good touch for this car I believe I think this is more of a specialist car I don't think this car is gonna be something that you can just pick up and drive fast I think you you're gonna really need to be um, about your setups and stuff to get the best out of this car but still it definitely has a lot of pace still very fun to drive the only thing I didn't like about it was the the view was quite restrictive but I managed to sort of change my camera angles just to suit more my style but the the window was definitely extremely restrictive and you couldn't really see that much because you sat quite far back in the windscreen didn't seem too big but um besides from that definitely this car is um one that's it's like it's like a rough diamond you know that it's fast but it's just not that easy to drive but yeah as i said all the cars on this game they all feel completely different and that's what I really like about this game. All the cars feel different, they've all got their own characteristics. You can literally tell that it's a completely different car. Um, precise, uh, apart from obviously the aesthetics, you can tell that all the cars handle completely different. And I, I like that about a set of course. Um, but so far the balance, I think the balance is pretty good on this game. Um, I'd probably have to test the other cars around here and as I get more time on the game, Get to get the cars to their limit and see um, what the true difference is but so far i can i can say the lamborghini the uh, the bentley um the m6 and what's the other car and the ferrari the ones that I've, I've done more laps in they're pretty close i'll say that the bentley is a little bit off um it's a little bit slower than the rest but it, to me is really really fun to drive and definitely the lamborghini m6 and the um, Ferrari very close in pace so yeah I'm hoping that the Jaguar is up there I'm gonna take the Jaguar around the Hungara ring because obviously I've done loads of laps around there in each car so yeah I want to see how that gets on but this is a lap I did so far I didn't upload a setup or anything with it because I just used the aggressive um, I think all I did was I might have gone down on the rear wing one or two clicks and yeah um, maybe I messed with the traction as well but traction is more of a personal preference um i think i went down on attraction i can't remember but it was an aggressive setup i've changed one or two things i didn't really make any real big changes to the setup so i didn't bother upload a setup until i really know what i'm doing with this car but um as i said it is one that you sort of have to drive quite a bit to get used to the way it handles it tends to take a little bit longer to get the car um, to slow down and obviously when you get on the power there seems to be a lot of rear oversteer the car sort of wants to rotate on you um, and yeah that's that's where the car's gonna prove tricky so at the moment if, if I'm honest for me personally I do like a car with a stable back end so I've really always enjoyed driving the Bentley on this game so far for me and um, the M6 is another car that feels good but just the, the raw sound of the Bentley was my favorite it was my favorite sounding car until they brought this car out and I think this car just sounds like a beast um, really really fun car but um yeah i hope you guys like the video also i'm going to be back in aor doing the gt3 races so keep an eye out for them races but anyway i'll let you watch the rest of the videos cryptic tmg like and subscribe hit the notification bell to catch my videos first and peace